Reshaping the world with social entrepreneurship. One small step at a time, let's change the world. A couple months ago, I visited a farm in the Philippines. But it wasn't just any farm. It was the Gawad Kalinga Enchanted Farm. Gawad Kalinga in English means give care. Something I think anyone who envisions a better future for our world should be thinking about. The Gawad Kalinga Community Development Foundation, or simply GK, is a Philippine-based movement that aims to end poverty for 5 million families by restoring the dignity of the poor. GK began pursuing this goal just by building houses. But beyond this, they also considered the concept of sustainability. While it is well and good that poor people are being given houses to live in, the next thing to consider is, what will they do next? GK then worked on building a community. What the social entrepreneurs at the GK Enchanted Farm are doing is just this, building a community. The concept of social entrepreneurship extends to doing this, helping the people you are working with, and not just making a profit. Now some of you may still be wondering what entrepreneurship could possibly have to do with helping the poor. Our preconceived notion of ending poverty mostly involves service trips where houses are built, or even just donations on websites to organizations that we may kind of know about. Although these are ways that support the cause, the limited duration and disconnectedness of it all makes me disappointed in what our norm for helping the poor is. Most service trips last a week or two, or maybe even a month, but they always result in the participants going back to their daily lives with all that they've gained is perhaps an interesting story to tell. Going back to the GK Enchanted Farm, one of the enterprises there is the Bayani Brew. The Bayani Brew produces proudly Filipino agri-based beverages that advocate the use of healthy indigenous ingredients, promoting a countryside development and augmenting the income of farmers through directly sourcing their raw materials at higher than market prices. They even offer agri-biz scholarships to these farmers and other brew crew staff. This ragdack team has loftier goals of achieving agri-based prosperity for farming communities and the country as a whole. Now, while this enterprise may seem inspiring in a distant sort of way, there is something, there's a relationship that can be established between this and our school, in any school actually. With the support of two other students and a lot of, lot of advice from teachers, I am now composting. The size of our school makes it so that we produce a lot of waste. One of the goals of a social entrepreneur is to take an existing social problem and use business techniques to find solutions. With this in mind, we will be taking trash from the cafeteria and feeding it to worms. Weird, yes? Perhaps weird is the way to go. In a process called vermicomposting, worms basically eat food scraps and turn them into a nutrient-rich compost that can do wonders for a garden and for a farm. What we're doing is basically turning something that we as a community would otherwise be throwing away and putting it to good use. Our finished product, the compost, will be available for everyone to purchase and use. One of the benefits of it is all you need to do with it is sprinkle a handful onto whatever soil you're growing your plants on, and the magic will happen on its own. What makes this project different from others isn't the profit that we will generate from selling our product, the simple ingenious design of our system, or even the product we're making itself. What makes it different is the positive return to society. But what exactly is this return? Okay, so you can argue that some people will have nicer gardens, and maybe we'll have taken away a little bit of trash that we produce, or that maybe I'll have finally finished my cast project. But really, is something this consequential, this inconsequential even worth talking about? Well, yes. Yes, it is. My vision for this is to extend beyond a simple composting project. I want to be able to find the entrepreneurial spirits that we have in our community and give them a platform to work on what they think is interesting. We have a fantastic school and a fantastic community, but like any school, like any community, there are so many things that we as students can do to make it better. And I think to do that, we need to become social entrepreneurs. Yes, it is valuable to go on habitat trips. And yes, raising money for different clubs with bake sales is a big help to the people in need. But if at this young age, we can cultivate an attitude of fixing the things that are wrong with our world, whatever they may be and whichever way we want to do it, I can envision a better place for us. A place where we become both thinkers and doers, working together to solve problems and helping those in need by our wit and our will. In some small way, I know that by working on this project, I am making a contribution to our world. It's not just me. Looking at the Forbes list of 30 under 30 social entrepreneurs, it shows young men and women with the will to reinvent the world in a positive light. 
If by doing what I do can inspire just one person to perhaps do the same, I will be content knowing that I will have done all that I can. And if not, I will simply continue to keep this attitude of caring about our world for the rest of my life in the hopes that you will all find ways to care about our world as well, social entrepreneurship or not. I'd like to end with a quote from the Fellowship of the Ring. It's the job, it's the job that never started that takes the longest to finish. One small step at a time, let's start today.